What's up everybody, we're back, and today I wanna to show you something that I just kinda of fell into that I think will greatly help my guitar tone. Now I'm running my guitar direct into my interface, and usually I just have one amp sim, and then one IR. I got a nasty blood buster, can you see that? Oh, I just, I dropped a mic stand on it, that's a good one, ouch. Anyways, normally my signal chain is just the guitar into the interface through one amp sim, and then one IR. I was messing around with like a virtual Friedman miking technique the other day, and then I got to thinking like, why not do two IRs? This is probably nothing new to most of you, but I've never actually tried to do two IRs on one guitar signal. And I was messing around with it the other day, and I really liked the results I was getting. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing right now, how I'm doing it, and if you have any feedback or comments on how I can make this better, go ahead and drop a comment for me. So my signal chain right now is, I got this Squire Bullet with hot rail pickups. I'm going into a Pure Sky Overdrive over here, which you probably can't see, into the Neural Amp Modeler with a Plexi model. It sounds like this. Well, I guess I can't do Hendrix chords if I'm, uh, got a blood blister on my thumb. That's not cool. I'm down-tuned anyways. That ain't gonna work. Anyways, we're taking that and we're going into Nadir or Nad IR, however you say it. Impulse responses I have for this video are by Robot Dog. They're very cool. The cool thing about this set is there's like five or six cabinets, but then once you get into the cabinets, there are several different mic options and then mic placement options. Just like you would be miking up a cab live in the studio, you have multiple instances of the cab through multiple mics. I'm gonna solo one out. This is the first IR I'm using. I'm using this 212 open back cab. This first IR is a custom ribbon mic on this 212 American cab. It's open back, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> I want this IR to be the base of the tone. Sounds really good on its own, but I think we can make it better. So now I'm gonna introduce one of these. So this is the other IR soloed out. So it's the same cab, different mic, a little bit brighter. Let's try another one. So honestly, I wouldn't use a lot of those IRs on its own because it's very bright. Like maybe if it has a specific spot in the mix, but for a general guitar tone, like a lot of those are too bright for my taste, but we can layer these on. So I'm gonna pick this one for now. I'm gonna bring the volume down. Here's my bass tone, the custom ribbon mic IR. Then I have this bright one I'm gonna fade in. You hear the noise in the background, it's actually my microphone. My noise case isn't set right. I'll have to adjust that later. Let's hear how it sounds in a little mix. So I know that's not the best example because of the volume differences between just one IR and two IRs, but you get the idea. I think it just adds a lot of character and when you're bringing in that second brighter IR, for me, that's bringing in a lot of clarity without all the harshness of just using that bright IR on its own. So, tons of possibilities. Layer up your IRs. If you get this Robot Dog Cabs pack, you can do what I do and just have a whole set of mics on the same cab, just like you were miking up one cab with multiple mics. You can, in this natty or you can flip the phase, you can add resonance, 
You can blend it however you want. You have room sound in here too. The possibilities are endless. I just wanted to share with you guys something that I just found that I hadn't used before. I'm sure lots of people have used multiple IRs on one guitar signal. It's not a crazy concept. And if that's you, move along. Well, it's new to me and I thought it sounded cool. So I just wanted to share. Thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you in the next video.